Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we're giving you guys the best console and PC tips and tricks in Fortnite to get better at the game or pull off more victory royale. So guys, we're going to basically break this down. This is a pre-recorded game, but I'm going to break this down like I've never done before. So you guys are definitely going to enjoy this a lot. But before we start the video, I want to give a huge shout out to Top Fist for actually picking me up part of their partner team. I'm on their team. So basically what they are is if you guys need help with coaching or anything like that, Fortnite related or any other game like League of Legends or anything like that, if you need help within gaming, and you need like a private coach or something like that you can actually go to the website and pick up a private coach and stuff like that so i'm actually one of the trainers over there on the website so if you guys want coaching from me i left a link down in the description below it's the very top of the description the first link the top that's going to be the link that you guys want to click on if you want a private coaching session with me it's like an hour long or you can get sessions that are two hours long it really depends so we'll basically go through things on tips and tricks where i can actually work on it alone with you specifically and help you get better at the game but guys with that being said let's get right into the video So the first thing I want to cover is how you can actually get more wins in Fortnite Battle Royale. A lot of people think if they do solos, they're going to get more wins, but that's not true. If you guys can actually pick up people on a squad or duo, it's a lot easier to win those games rather than solos. For some reason, solos is just 10 times harder than those other game modes. I think it's because people play more scared, more passive, and they go a little bit more try hard in those game modes. When they have friends and stuff, they get aggressive, they do dumb decisions. So it's a lot easier to play squad or solo games to get more victory royale. So that's my number one tip to you guys out there. If you want more wins, like for instance, me, I have over a thousand wins. A lot of those come from squad or duos, and it's just, it's a lot better. It's scientifically, a lot easier to get wins with those game modes so guys that's tip number one go ahead and do squads and duos rather than solos but now let's talk about the gameplay because we're about to run into somebody i saw my teammate got knocked he ended up thirsting him so i was like instantly i was like okay I gotta kill him. I got my shot off, but luckily my teammate came in to help, and this is why it's always good to have squads and stuff like that. You gotta have communications with your team. If you're not talking to each other, there's no way you're gonna be able to win. Like, for instance, we knew that there was more people here at Risky Reels. We just didn't know where they were, so he went one way. I went the other way just to try and spot him out. I saw a big pot. I was like, okay, I'm going for it. He called him out. He said, hey, there's people on me. I was like, okay, I'm on my way. I'm gonna go help him because there's no reason for me to leave him alone to fight on his own. So instantly, right when he says he needs help, I'm over here to help now. I'm gonna pause it right here as you can see in a situation like this the guy has the high ground over me and my friend but he is a no skin you got to pay attention to literally every single detail when coming to this game now again you can miscalculate a no skin for being a noob and they ended up shitting on you so don't judge him just by that but keep in mind that he is a no skin so the possibilities are pretty pretty likely that he's not that good at the game but as you can see he does have high ground now there's two things i can do i can put a pyramid above him to stop him from going any higher trap him in a box or i can just shoot him down and get him back down to our level to get us high ground now looking at my mats knowing that it's early game i know i don't have that many mats to actually be able to put a pyramid and all walls around him and stuff like that i want to be able to conserve my mats and stuff like that for later on just in case if another team pulls up or anything like that so my initial reaction and thought was okay let me just knock him down there's no reason to build more than i need to so i'll just shoot his thing like two times with this new web or the dual pistols because i know it's very strong and he only built out of wood he's gonna fall extremely quick so that's exactly what i did but he jumped over to his other platform you can see right there he built extremely fast I'm gonna pause it right here. So I automatically knew this guy knew what he was doing. He was a fast builder and he has really a lot of high ground on me. If you can see, he's I think two floors above me, plus he's got the portal for it for more reinforcements. So there's no way I was going to be able to outbuild him with just the mats I have early game. So I instantly, right away, instead of just sitting there thinking, just from experience and doing it so many times, I knew, okay, let me just break it down, break him down, get him to the same level as me. All I gotta do is break this wall, break the floorboard he's on, and he comes down to the right level as me so if you guys can see i he's not expecting this so right when i do it he has no clue you saw he had his mats out he was probably trying to build more but i brought him down to the point where he just couldn't react there was nothing he could do and i was already right there in his face so situations like that you need to really just observe and it's crazy to think and the reason i want to start doing tips like this where we pause it is because it's hard to explain it but in your head you can think of a million things in a split second but when you try to word it out you could see that it takes like maybe 10 minutes to actually think of something like
like that. So, so that's why in these tips and tricks videos that I'm going to be starting to push out in the future, they're going to be a lot better. So again, Yeezy Pablo gave me a call out. There's somebody below us. Now I knew this guy was in this box, but in, right here, I, I see him in there. He's breaking one of the walls. I'm going to pause it right there. And as you can see, just from having high ground, I can see exactly what this person is doing. So he has himself in a box and I saw him breaking one of the walls out. So instantly, even without my teammate throwing the C4s and trying to blow it up, I knew he was going to break down this wall. So what I was trying to do, what my initial reaction and thought was, okay, right when he breaks down this wall, I want to be right there in front of him to shoot him in the head with my shotgun and then switch my SMG and finish him off. Because one, he's breaking down the wall. He's not going to expect somebody to come from above to land right in front of him right when he destroys that wall. So I was trying to time it perfectly to the point where right where he destroys it I can go ahead and break this or he can break this wall and I can go ahead and shoot him that was my thought process now as you guys can see it worked out both ways he he was not expecting me to be there and my teammate threw c4s to blow everything up so he wasn't ready for it to happen so even if my teammate didn't throw c4s I was still ready to go ahead and kill him that way but then again the c4s did help just because it blew everything up and it helped me notice exactly where he was a little bit easier so with that being said there's two easy kills and what I broke down on what my thought process was and why I did certain things so as you can see there's two people over here me and Yeezy are at, at risky reels with them they're just over there fighting other people instead of just rushing them right away I'm gonna make sure that I have mats because you never want to get into a fight you never know who's gonna be good and who's gonna have a lot of mats so you want to just make sure that you have materials so that way if you do get in a fight with somebody you're ready to go and you have actually a lot of material to defend yourself and stuff like that I think mat material building and anything like that is a defensive way to play Fortnite. Now, it, it is really good because if you're getting shot at, you can easily put up a wall and defend yourself. But right here, we heard them over here. We just couldn't find where they were. So we knew, okay, they killed the other team. There's just people over here probably healing up or looting or something like that. So we're looking for him. And then he gives a call out and I can sound horn. I hear it. So initially, again, same thought process as last time. Drop on this dude's head. He's not expecting me to come from above and land right on his head. So that's exactly what I did right there. Now I'm going to skip past forward a little bit just because uh, there's a lot of the time where we're literally just farming and stuff like that trying to get our mats up and everything like that so i'll see you guys in the next fight same game though so right here in this situation we're over by dusty divot we hear this cart and we see that there's a rift over there so we automatically thought i was like okay these guys are probably going to try and hit this rift i saw them building up it, right away i just decided to shoot them down i did not want them to take the rift but the guy was so dedicated he took it but i still shot down the same ramp just so that way his teammates and stuff like that won't actually go look at it but i'm gonna pause it right here real quick if you guys saw correctly, I was building up to get high ground above this other person because you never want to push somebody and let them be above you because when they're looking down at you, they have a better line of sight on you so they can actually do more damage and your line of sight is just horrible. So it's going to be a little bit harder to hit your shots. So again, like I've said in my other tips and tricks, you always want to get high ground. But right here, you can see that I actually took high ground, shot this guy with a shotgun, and you're going to see me put a flat platform down right below me. And that's because I want to protect myself. Now, I knew there was another guy down here. I don't know why he was trying to pick him up right away, but initially just knocked him right away. And then Yeezy was fighting the two other people that took the rift. Because if you guys saw, if you remember, those guys took the rift. And instead of thirsting them and finishing them, I decided, you know what? I got to go help Yeezy, go help him out, make sure that my teammate's safe. And that's exactly what I did. I just went up here, pushed to the same exact strat where I jumped above the person, shot, put up my floorboard right there. I just, that wasn't a crazy shot. Like, there was barely any room to hit that shot, but I still hit it. Missed my shotgun shot, but I finished him with the SMG because, again, shotgun SMG combo or LMG best combination in the game right now because the double pump is gone. But it is just a really good way to just melt people and just kill them instantly. Uh, so here... Now, in this situation, people are shooting at us. They're trying to shoot down our, our platform and stuff like that. I knew we had a little bit of time, so I wanted to actually loot before I actually go ahead and uh, go to the very bottom. So instead of running to the very bottom or building or finding my way, I decided to put two flat platforms and just bounce off the roof of the thing. Because you guys got to remember, you got to use things around you, look around, and you got to have a smart IQ. If, if there's no other way to get down, but there's a cart right next to it, you can easily just jump on the cart hit the roof and no, take no fall damage and stuff like that. And that's what I'm saying. When you when you want to be a good player, you got to be able to think of these things that other people probably won't think of, and it'll really help you out. Now, I'm going to pause it right here in a few seconds just because I want to show you guys and break down what's exactly happening. So if you can see, there's people back there fighting. 
and there was a team shooting at us so as you saw the team that pulled up behind these two guys right here i was waiting for these two guys to get distracted by the people behind them so that way they would turn their back on me there was no reason for me to peek and start shooting at them while they were still looking at me so i just third person peeked it and just looked to wait to see if i can see when they turn their back on me the second they turn their back that's when i was like okay this is when i'll react this is when i'll go ahead and pop my head up and shoot at them because there's no way i can take any damage they're not looking at me unless they turn around no scope and just get a lucky shot on me and kill me there's no way i'm going to take damage or anything like that on this person now again you got to pay attention to the storm and everything like that so you guys are going to see me push these guys aggressively but also stay in the circle so that way i don't take any fall or damage from the storm but with this new grapple gun added to the game you can go ahead and actually react and get to places extremely quick and that's why i love it because you're able to get really aggressive as you can see i got this guy lit i knew he was probably either just going to box himself in or wait so i decided you know let me get aggressive rush him right away and try and see if i can knock him that way because when you rush somebody like that extremely quick with the new grapple gun they're caught off guard so much to the point where they can't react in time or they can't do anything at all to the point where they just die instantly. Now skipping forward a little bit, we see that there's people up on this mountain because we can hear the gunshots. We know people are up here fighting. And I told Yeezy, hey, I'm gonna push up. You're gonna have to finish building the rest of the way because I do not want these guys to have a split second to react or heal up or anything like that. So that's why I rush them extremely fast, which kind of put myself in a bad situation because as you guys can see, I'm getting shot at from three different directions. People are breaking my walls. Somebody's in the same cube as me and I'm gonna pause it right here. So times like this where it's very dramatic, like look at my health, I'm literally one one shot any bully he hits on me I can die instantly so where this guy messes up at is he just uses a pump shotgun it, the pump shotgun shoots way too slow to do anything so as you can see I shot my pump shotgun I miss but I instantly switched over to my SMG because the SMG is the quickest thing to do if you miss your pump shotgun. If you're sitting there pumping every shot, trying to hit your shots, if you miss one shot, that's like five seconds that you're just delayed just standing there not doing anything. So that's why running an SMG is really good. So you're going to see me in this situation just trying to duck, trying to dodge his shotgun shot. Because I notice he's only got a shotgun out. It's, it's going to be pretty easy to just jump around and try and dodge it or anything like that. And I just spray on him with my SMG and I end up winning that gunfight. But yes, in a situation like that, I did get lucky, but you just got to remain calm and keep your composure. And I'm instantly pushing other people aggressive. You guys are going to notice I have this very aggressive play style. And that's because it catches people off guard. They're not going to know what to do. They panic and they start freaking out and stuff like that. Now, this is a good fight because this guy put a roof above me. He's getting high ground. I'm going to pause it here in a second right here. I want to know down in the comments below, what would you do in this situation? You guys look at my inventory. You know what I have. You know the mats. You see my health that I am still extremely week from that last fight so let me know down in the comment section below what you would actually do before you actually watch me play it out so basically my mindset i'm gonna tell you right now was he was above me he had high ground he i had him weak because i hit him with that shotgun during the first stage of me and him fighting so he was weak i probably thought he was up there healing up or he was trying to do something and get high ground so instantly what i thought was instead of me healing up like I said, I'm a very aggressive player. Maybe it would be smart of me to just take too many so that way I have more health. But at that point, I was like, you know what? I just got to stay aggressive. So I pulled out the grappler hook and I just grappled up to him and just got in his face. So you're going to see I remain aggressive. I tried getting up there, but he was very smart. I think he heard the grapple hook or he was just trying to box himself in. But he boxed himself in right when I did that. And that was a very smart play on his end. Just because he knows that I'm trying to get aggressive. He knows I'm trying to get in there. And all he's doing is just putting up a wall. And right here, you're going to see... He bailed out one side, tried pushing to the other side. He was a very smart player. He knew when the right opportunity was to push. But unfortunately, the storm is about to close, and that's what ended up getting him killed. He got high ground on me. As you guys can see right here, he gets above me right when I'm trying to heal. So instantly, I tried pyramiding him, trapping him, but it did not work. He was high ground, and again, the grapple hook helps you get up there quicker so that way you're not building. Because building is a little bit slower than just using the grapple hook. So if you have the grappling hook, make sure you're always using it. Always remember that you have it and use it as a weapon because... I'm telling you guys, it's probably one of the best weapons in the game. So now my teammate dies. It's going to be a 1v2. So let's cut to that scene where it's me versus two other people. But right here, you guys can see there's two people high ground. They're on the same team versus me. And they both have RPGs. So this does suck. And they have high ground, which does definitely suck for me because I'm in a horrible position to be in. And if you look at my mats, I only have 300 mats. So there's no way I can build up to these people and push them. But like I said, I do like to remain aggressive. What I was doing was just farming anything that I possibly could, protecting myself at the same time. Just so that way I can have as much wood as I possibly can, just in case if it's needed. I saw this guy push down, and that was my opportunity. Okay, since he pushed down, again, grapple hook. Get to him as quick as you possibly can. He didn't even know it. He had no clue or wasn't expecting or anything like that. So there was no way he could react to it. There was nothing he can do. And that's what ended up getting me this victory where I was right there. Just eliminating him made this extremely hard for his teammate because his teammate's freaking out. Now that his teammate knows, 
I'm a somewhat decent player. He's going to play a little bit more passive. He's playing scared and he might make mistakes. That's how I ended up capitalizing and pulling off the victory royale. But guys, again, thank you so much for all the love, all the support. If you guys like this new series where I actually show you the mind of a pro Fortnite player, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Guys, again, if you want private coaching from me, click the top link in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.